The COVID-19 pandemic, it's been a nightmare and it's brought a wide range of challenges for business and industry worldwide. More than 100,000 people have died around the world from COVID-19. Cases have now passed We are going million. into a global We're recession. In an economic downturn. But we never turn our back on a challenge and we remain fully committed to realizing the goals we set ourselves in research and development. Why don't we have a closer look to see what those aims are? It was announced in 2019 that RGE would invest 200 million US dollars to identify new methods to tackle textile fibre innovation and technology. Why? Well, being the biggest viscose producer in the world, RGE and their business groups thought it was only right that they should lead the way in making climate positive cellulosic fibre. So, how is that done? Well, discovering and implementing proven clean technology is top priority. RGE has set its sights on playing a leading role in the battle for a greener future and a safer, healthier planet. That means that over the next decade, as much as 70% of that $200 million investment will be put towards clean technology initiatives. That is why we're constantly experimenting with new schemes so we'll use 20% to make sure these ideas come to fruition, while 10% will go towards research and development in emerging solutions. The investment is broken down into three key areas. The first is to source ready-made solutions in the market. The second, investing in startup companies, supporting local endeavors, because we want everyone to succeed. Number three on the list is an ongoing strengthening of our in-house research and development. So, one year on, are we on course? For this, I spoke to Bei Su Kiang. He is the vice chairman of RGE and chairman of April Group. So as far as doing good for climate, you know, it is a commitment because we know that in a textile industry, close to 30 to 40% of clothes are not sold and they often land up in landfill. So that is a commitment which we want to make to, make, to try to reduce the uh, overproduction in the first place. And secondly, you know, where there's overproduction, how do I recycle this pre-consumer textile, so to speak? So, where does that leave us? Well, we wouldn't be where we are without collaboration. RGE has also enhanced existing partnership and forged new ones to promote progress towards broader goals. And the work doesn't stop there. We'll continue to make great strides in reaching our sustainability goals. We'll develop natural resources in a more sustainable way by reducing water use and by turning waste products into things we can use. And that neatly brings us to the circular economy. This is a term we hear often these days, before the circular economy, companies would work to a take, make and dispose system. However, it's now imperative that we treat our materials as though they are limited, so we won't just recycle, we'll maintain. To put it simply, the circular economy looks like this. Make, use and return. For more news across the group, make sure you follow us across all our social media channels that are coming up right after this. We'll check in with you soon.